welcome back everybody to the journey this is episode 13 and we have approached the final two games of the season so before we get started with our final push for promotion I remember to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment down below if you've enjoyed this video as well and give it a thumbs up it'll all help the algorithm get my videos out there to the masses out there so without further ado Let's get on with the running. Okay, so the league table as it stands with two games left to go. We are two points clear still of York, Bournewood, uh, uh, five points behind us. So we, we can finish in the top three position, guaranteed. Uh, we've got Southport up next, who are currently in fifth. So it is a must-win game. So have a look at the schedule and show you how it's progressed. Uh, who was it? Was it Darlington and Fylde? I think it was. We've had a pretty good run. Uh, we drew against Boston, but we won four in a row. against Braintree, Ashton, Nuneaton and Brackley. Uh, but then we kind of slipped up against York, the one that I said we needed to win. Uh, so unfortunately... We couldn't quite beat them. Uh, but then we returned to winning form by smashing Alfreton 5-2. So, it all boils down to this game. We could technically clinch the title if results go our way. So, let's get on with the team selection. Right, so, the team that I have chosen to attempt to win the, the league title is Johnson in goal. With Waters, Flowers, Danich and Morgan across the back. And a midfield trio of Estrada, Bagley and Osborne. And as always, we've got the usual suspects up front of McKay, Hewlett and Harker. Now, we are struggling a little bit for fitness. That's why it's not really um, a full strength team. Uh, we've got our star midfielder, Jack Young. He's currently injured. Uh, so, unfortunately, we're just going to have to kind of do what we're doing and hope for the best. So, fingers crossed. Let's do this. Okay, let's go. So, Harker to get things underway. Now it's Hewlett. The Dyke who sends it out wide to Morgan. Morgan tries to play Harker in, but he's just not got the pace, which is a shame. Oh, that goes that highlight. So, we need to keep his eye on York. Not so much boring wood because. You know, as long as we don't get beat, then they, they can't catch us. It's just York we need to be focusing on. Uh, they, are, um, our, our, bleh, they are our main opposition threat. Bagley collects the ball. Now it's Osborne to Deitch. Now Flowers back to Deitch, who finds Bagley. Estrada now. Bit of Hewlett action. Now Harker. Harker shoots oh, over the bar by, by Harker. Unlucky. So York are playing Gateshead. So we need Gateshead to do us a solid favour. And Hewlett scoops up the ball, which is fantastic. It's still, it's still Hewlett, finds Waters. Now it's Estrada. Estrada to Waters. Waters to Bagley. Bagley out wide to Morgan. Morgan now finds Osborne. Now it's Bagley again. And Bagley, oh, beautiful goal. And it's onside as well. His fifth goal of the season. That was a beautifully taken goal on the stroke of 10 minutes. That was some beautiful football. A joy to behold. Look at this. Osborne to Bagley to Estrada. He passes to Bagley over the fans Morgan in space and just smashes it home. Fantastic. That is what we wanted. And it's an incredibly tight offside. Ooh, he timed his run to perfection. Now, as it stands, boys and girls, we're champions. As it stands, Estrada jumps up and he just can't quite get the ball on target. York is still nil-nil against Gateshead, who are 11th in the table. Now we just need to hold on to this and not concede. Oh. Thought we actually conceded then. That's why I kind of went silent momentarily. Um, if 
I mean, yeah, if we can win, then I will be ex ecstatic. Waters now has Johnson. Johnson plays it from the back. Oh, and it's dispossessed. Unfortunately, there. So we can still we can try. It. We, blah, 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 blah. we can do this. We just can't let them score, and we can't let them make runs like that because that is just saying, yeah, we've got a very poor defence. Ooh, good effort. But, thankfully, no cigar. So, York is still nil-nil. Oh, Bainbridge. Is that our Jack Bainbridge? I think it might be. <clears throat> An old uh, warrior from our FM21 save. And that was a very, very poor attempt. Right, keeper to keeper. And, oh, McKay can't quite get to it. Now Southport are on the attack. We still need to hold on to this lead. We can't let them score. That was a poor clearance. A really poor clearance. Oh, that was a shot from distance. That was a poor clearance. Not what we wanted. Not what we wanted at all. And Morgan there with a poor clearance. Which set Bainbridge up to find... Uh. Oh. Oh well. We can still do this. York and Gates are still drawing. Two points. It'll yeah, probably gonna go down to the final game. And the final game will be top versus bottom. And I'm zooming out and I don't want to zoom out. So it's doable unless unless York win. Then we'll only need a point on last game. Oh, come on. Oh, it's Morgan. Now it's Deitch. Osborne to Bagley. Bagley out wide to Morgan. Morgan, still Morgan, crosses it in. Oh, couldn't quite get to it. Oh, here we go. Hewitt shoots. Oh, oh. Unfortunate. But, you know, it's showing promise. McKay now on the ball. Finds Estrada. Now it's Bagley. Is he going to try his look? Oh, he is going to try his look from distance. But he wasn't that lucky and it goes out of play for a goal kick. And it's now half time. So we need to encourage the team a little bit. Um, I'm kind of like, I don't like what I saw. It's Max Johnson. Uh, it's fine. Individuals bring his up a little bit. Uh, you're playing brilliantly. Yeah, there we go. He's motivated. I've, in I've, I've cheered him up. Good. Right, so straight off the bat, I'm gonna demand more from my team because we can we can do this. I am confident we can. We just need to hold hold on for dear life. Try and get his noses in front again and not oh, he took one for the team. Oh, be careful, baggers. Be careful. Oh, that's a dangerous free kick. Oh, Johnson gets to it though. And it goes out of play for a corner. Right, so we need to focus now, boys, on York. I've gone in front. It's not what we wanted. We need to get our noses back in front. Otherwise, it will go down to the last game. And that is what we don't need. And we do not want to get beat. Because if we get beat, I know York will win their last game. Because we've got the hardest running out of all the, the contenders for promotion. We had the hardest running. With only one of our remaining f four fixtures um, playing out of the top eight, which is lower stuffed. Oh, McKay, can he get to it? He does do. He finds Waters now. Still Waters. Back to, and that was Osborne. Now Bagley tries his look, and it's straight over the bar. That was a bit of a wasted opportunity. Oh, and York of... York were back on 88 points. Have they conceded? They must have done. I couldn't quite see it because it went into the highlight before. Right, come on. Oh, come on. Fire the team up. Come on. We can do this. I don't want to play for set pieces. I'm going to drop down to a positive mentality. Instead of attack-minded. I couldn't see the league table again. We're too busy on the attacking front. Morgan now on the ball. Now it's Harker. Back to Morgan. Now it's Harker again. Harker shoots. Oh, just over the bar. Good effort there by Harker. So, yeah, they're on 88. And where are they? 
they're no longer on there. Why are they not showing on there? That's uh, bizarre. I, I have no idea of finding out the score. <clears throat> that is unfortunate. But I think we need to make a substitution to... Oh, Gateshead are winning. <clears throat> Gateshead are actually winning. Uh, Strada's knackered, so McConville can come on. I'm going to bring Stanners on. Uh, Hewlett's not really having the best of games. McKay's having a shocker. Swap them for there, them for there. There we go. Win win. And go out there and make a difference. Come on, Stanners. Score the goal that crowns us champions. <clears throat> oh, so Johnson scoops that up easily. Oh, come on. We need to win. I'm going to demand more again. Johnson clears it upfield, finds Hewlett, Hewlett to Stanley. Stanley has his chance here, now it's Hewlett in play again. Still Hewlett. Hewlett finds Osborne. Back to Hewlett, back to Osborne. Now it's Bagley. Oh, come on Osborne. McConville to Bagley, and Waters out wide. Waters crosses it in, Hewlett jumps up for the head, and it's a very weak header, and the Southport keeper collects that easily. Oh, wow, this is down to the wire. We really need to score and not give the ball away like that. Oh, we are under a lot of pressure here. Not what we want. Oh, and he's clear through. He's offside anyway. Thank goodness for that. The York is still getting beat. I know we have a corner. What's to take? Can Deitch get on this? What? Deitch heads it. Oh, the keeper saves it though. Five minutes left. Waters to take again. He whips it in. This time it's cleared backwards. It's still in play. And Southport can break here. We don't want him to break. We need to get some bodies back. We need the bodies back. Come on. We really do need the bodies back. Morgan clears it out of touch for a corner. Oh. I'm. Really, really nervous now. I don't know if we, if we can math mathematically do it. I think the goal difference is going to be a key factor in this. So I can't imagine us getting beat off Lowestoft. I can't. Oh, Hewlett. Beautiful control. Hewlett fans Harker out wide. Harker whips it back in but wins a corner in the process. This could be the final opportunity we have. Morgan whips it in. Flowers. Oh, just over the bar by Flowers. That was the final opportunity we had to clinch the title in this game. So, it ain't going to be in this game. But quite possibly, it's going to be the next one. So bring on Lowestoft. Okay, it all boils down to this. Our final game of the season against Lowestoft. We only need a single solitary point. And the team, hopefully, that are going to do that for us today is Johnson in goal with a back four of Waters, Dyche, Estrada and Morgan. A midfield trio of Bagley, Young and Osborne and the ever-present McKay, Hewitt and Harker up front. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we can do this. Uh, the, our strikers have scored. A lot of goals between them. But 24, 34, 44. 56 goals between them. That's good. That's good indeed. So. What do you reckon? Let's go and find out. So hopefully we'll be having a title party. party a title party come full time. Oh, I just hope so. Because it'll be good to get. Promoted at the second time of asking. Oh, so we need to gain possession so I can actually do some commentating. We've done, I'm pretty proud with the way the teams performed this season. You know, we had that insane run of 13 wins in a row. That was really, really nice. I just couldn't be beat. Um, It's been a bit sketchy when, you know, just before that 
insane run. I lost four games in a row and I thought, ooh, is this going to be over before it's even begun? But no, the team came good in the end. Uh, the tactics, formation and everything that I've done so far this season has paid off, which I'm absolutely delighted about. Now we just need to uh, secure this promotion and prepare for life in the National League for next season. In order to do that, we need a goal. To guarantee it. Water's now on the ball. Who plays McKay? McKay shoots off. Oh, beautiful goal there by McKay. He's 19th of the season. Fantastic. After 20 minutes, we take the lead. Fantastic. The stadium is looking pretty full as well. Everyone's here ready what try to be part of the town when their team gets promoted. It's a good feeling. It's a really good feeling to be there. Even though I've never been physically on a game when we've been promoted. I've seen from the outside and I know how it feels. So it must be a lot better actually watching it happen in person. Oh. Nearly had a good opportunity there. That's fine. It's six points clear. York are getting beat against Boston. That is the best result we could ever hope for. Harker. Now Morgan. Morgan to Osborne. Now it's Young. Oh, Morgan. Morgan tries his luck, but straight at the defender. Young plays it back to Estrada. Back to Young, who sends it over the top to Waters. Waters to Bagley. Yeah, now Waters has it again. He finds Bagley and Hewitt. He's got a few options. Oh, off the underside of the bar. And I'm sure it hit the post as well. Oh, a double header. Waters with a free kick. Oh, Harker just couldn't aim his header in the right direction. That's a shame. Oh, so we're now 10 minutes to go before this first half. And I think, boys and girls, we'll be having a promotion party. Bagley. Oh, off the bar from Bagley. Unlucky there, lad. Unlucky. Right. Oh, Harker's clean through. Harker's clean through. Oh, he should have rounded the keeper. And if he would have rounded the keeper, then he would have had a better chance of converting that into a goal. But he didn't. We've had 15 shots so far. Ooh-wee. Damn, sir. Hewitt finds Osborne out wide. Now it's Morgan. Osborne. I think what I need to do as well is after this game is find out who I want to keep for next season. Oh, unlucky Morgan. And who is going to be leaving the door come end of contract? Uh, that's something to do off camera though. Because I need to have a look. There's a, I've got my eye on a few people that are going to go. Um, and I'll, a couple that I think right, they can make the step up. I might try and bring Deitch in permanently I think or I might not bother actually um, I don't know we'll see we'll see and even if I do bring Dyke in I'm more than likely going to bring someone better in because we are going to be in a higher league so I will want stronger players Waters takes a free kick oh good effort there saved by Bort now we're in a corner though Morgan to take Morgan whips in nobody there to get hold of it usually there's someone there to convert the header. Deitch finds McKay. Now it's Young back to Deitch. And York is still getting beat. Fantastic. Oh, this couldn't have gone any better. Right. Oh, I thought we'd have a chance then, but no. Nope. 60th minute. I think it's time for a substitution. Right, so we're going to take off Young because he's on the yellow. Bring McConville in. Uh, Cameron Stanley can come in, uh, I think, yeah, for there, bring Hewlett off, Hewlett, I think, is going to be one that I may bring back, because he's, he's had 20 goals, he's getting, he's scoring a goal every three games, so, I don't know, like I said, I'm going to have to have a proper good look, and see who I can afford to, uh, I mean, I'll have more options for loans as well, so I could bring in someone better on a loan. Again, we'll have to wait and see. York have equalised in their game. Which is irregardless now. And they've also gone in front. Now it's more apparent that I need to win this game. 
Oh, and he times gets brought down in the penalty area. And no penalty. Morgan to take a throw in. Oh, that's he's off. That was really reckless challenge by him. Really reckless. Now they've got to play out the final 15 minutes with 10 men. Which gives us that extra edge to add another goal in. Waters now on the ball. Could this be the opportunity to double our lead? Waters crosses it into... Oh, Harker just kicked over the bar. Unlucky there, lad. Unlucky. Estrada to take a free kick. Now it's Osborne to Bagley. Now Stanley's in play. McConville. Now it's Bagley. Who waters out wide. Now it's Bagley back to... Oh, McConville just loses it completely. And Estrada wins it back, though. Now it's Bagley to McConville. Out right, wide to Waters. Waters to McKay. McKay makes a bit of a run and decides against it. Now it's Waters again. Now it's Bagley. McKay finds Arca, who's a very weak effort on a header. Could have done better than that. York have lost their lead because it's gone back down to 88 points. Harker now on the ball. To, uh, Osborne, McConville to Bagley. Now it's Osborne. McKay shoots. Oh, and it trickles past the goalkeeper. He's 20th of the season. Jack McKay, fantastic. Doubles our lead. And basically, we are now champions. But I don't want to say it until the final whistle blows. But that was a good effort. Keeper couldn't quite push it clear. That was a good chance. And a very nicely taken goal. Lucky as well. I've got three and a half minutes to go. Oh, free kick there. Good effort, but not good enough. Fantastic. Oh, look at this. We've got three minutes left to play, boys and girls. Can we do this? And two and two minutes left. Bagley now on the ball. Still Bagley runs out wide with it. But plays it back to Waters. Waters to Deitch. Deitch now to Estrada, who plays Morgan in. Who crosses it over to Stanley. Stanley shoots. Oh, it's a good save by the keeper. To deny Stanley what would have been a fantastic goal. Morgan to take a corner. Estrada couldn't quite get to it first. And now, now Layston. Uh, Layston. Lowestoft to have a chance to break. I don't think they're going to do it. They think it's all over. I'm a little bit early saying that, but... Why not? We need to just, well, in fact, we don't need to because they're not going to score two goals in 20 seconds. So, like I stated, they think it's all over. It is now. We are champions. Fantastic. Do we not get a trophy? Where's the trophy? Enjoy your success. Do you not get to see a trophy? That's a shame. Anyway, Curzon has to win the Vanarama North. Oh, yeah. Wow, that is absolutely amazing. We lift it on the final day. We could have done it a lot sooner, but I'm just glad we've finally won it. That's there, yeah, so the them teams of Southport and Alfreton have guaranteed the playoffs. Fantastic. Uh, Edwards reacts to controversy. Absolutely refereeing. There was no bad referee in there. It was a, you pushed my player. He's going to get sent off. We've got initial budgets. Oh, we've got wage budget of nine and a half thousand pounds a week. No money in the transfer fund though. Oh, it's not what we want. So. The board are delighted. Fantastic. Oh, nothing there. We all know why there's nothing there. Anyway, so, what a season that has been. We finished top of the table. We only lost nine all season. Uh, stages, let's have a look. We scored 97 goals. That is a fantastic return. With Bore and Wood coming in a close second. 92. Uh, we conceded 59. Uh, there's quite a lot less than us there, but it's fine. I'm at. Oh my god. Wow. 
Lowestoft conceded 149 goals. Wow. Anywhere. Thank you very much for watching. I uh, hope you've enjoyed our stroll to success together. Um, we'll come back in the next episode for the end of season special and transfer review. Um, oh no, end of season review and transfer special even. Get it right. And hopefully we can sort our team out so we've got a good start on next season. Um, so remember as well, hit that subscribe button. Comment down below if you've enjoyed this video. Or even comment to congratulate Curzon for winning the Vanarama National League North. That would be fantastic. And hit that like button as well. And I shall see you all in the next episode. See you later.